All right, congratulations on making it this far. Um, so far, we've been looking at our roller coaster from a bird's eye view, um, or what uh, No Limits refers to as a top view. But now we need to change the view so that we can actually create a rise at the end of our lift. So um, for these tutorials, I'm going to use predominantly the left view. So if you select the left view, you'll be able to uh, scroll along and you'll see that this vertex point at the end of um, our lift segment of track um, can be raised up. And that enables us to create a lift that our roller coaster is going to go up one side and down the other. You can actually manipulate um, that vertex point like we have in the past using these handles but if we actually pull uh, one of these control points down, you'll notice that the lift will take the coaster up on this side, but because um, the lift section stops short of the crest of the rise, then the roller coaster won't actually go over the top. So it's important that we make sure that the lift goes all the way to the top. In fact, you can even make it go part way down the other side, but we just need to make sure that we don't stop short. So there's my lift section. Uh, one of the things that I like to do at this stage is I also select the vertex points and drag them out at the front just to make a bit of a smooth transition to that rise. And I do the same down the bottom here. And grab the hand handle down here and drag that out. Now for the purpose of this one, you might like to zoom out a little and even create a bit of a radical um, rise. So we'll go back to our top view now and you'll see that from the top view we can't actually tell that anything's changed but it but it certainly has so let's go to file and save as and if you haven't already done so you might like to save the roller coaster track um, in between the last tutorial on this one I've actually saved mine as basic roller coaster and I'm just going to save on top of the one I've already created and yep I'd like to replace that now we're ready to ride the simulator, so we can click on the Start Simulator icon. And while it's loading, um, the first thing I'm going to do is press H on the keyboard. Now by pressing H, I can actually bring up the help screen. And this help screen, there's um, actually three screens. So if I press H again, that takes me to the second page. And that's the third page and back to the original. And if I want to get rid of that help screen, I just need to press Escape on my keyboard. But I'll bring it back for a second. And you'll notice uh, that on the first page, uh, the second and the third point are that there is a fly view and also um, an onboard view. So if I press E on my keyboard, you can see that I'm back in the station here. I can move my mouse to move around, but I can also, importantly, hold down my left mouse button and I can fly around the area that I've been working in. Okay, and you can actually see there's my roller coaster going back up the top. Now, if I want to return to being on the roller coaster again, you can see immediately below E is Q, and that puts me back on board. So if I press Q now, I'll be on, on board just in time to go over the top, and I'll press Escape so that um, hides that view. But I'll just stop it there, and if I press down the P button on my keyboard, that will pause this ride. But when I resume the ride, I'm going to do something a little bit different, and that is I'm going to slow down the speed that the ride's going. And you can see that if I bring back my help screen, on help screen 2, um, the top point is P for pause, but then I've also got a number pad plus or a number pad minus. And what that does is that would de increase or decrease the simulation speed so let's just escape out of there. If I uh, decrease it a little, you can see that I'm now down to 25% um, of the actual speed of the ride. And if I press P 
put P for pause again. I'm about to launch off. And I find this is a really useful tool um, to test out different aspects of the roller coaster ride just to see what it feels like. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about how useful that tool is later on. Let's increase the speed now. We could go up to 400% if we wanted to, but we'll bring it back. And there we go. There's our uh, basic roller coaster ride. Let's end this uh, simulation by pressing escape and click on quit and clearly you can see that there are still some problems with this roller coaster ride uh, but I'll talk a little bit about how we can improve those uh, very shortly and that's the end of this uh, tutorial